people in live broadcast are asking what the meanings of the paintings are so this is a video that would explain each one of them this one this painting is the oldest of the three this is my brain and at this time of painting this canvas i felt like i'm a ticking time bomb and i felt like although i have on time but i also have off time not that i am the same as a person that painted this at this time i evolve as well i evolve with how i perceive parkinson's but at this time as you can see i said pd socks uh, i say joy time tiktok pangandoy life dreams what do i mean by these though i thought of myself as a sticking time bomb i find different version of joy perhaps i enjoy a walk prior to parkinson but the joy of that walk is a lot deeper now that i have parkinson time to me before time is 7 a.m 8 a.m but now when i give my time it means that that time i cannot take it back that's my dopamine that time that i cannot take back again so it is more valuable now panganda is in my language which means dreams my dreams concentrate now at being present as opposed to the futuristic dreams my dreams now concentrate on what i can do at this very moment may it be painting may it be talking to you may it be talking to my husband may it be watching television that that is my concentration i don't look past today already i make plans for tomorrow i make plans in the following week month year but i'm concentrating all the energy that i have in my press now this is the most recent one i just finished it today this one is the most positive canvas of them all really so this is a lotus and it also is a fire lotus symbolizes rebirth harmony joy and the phoenix has similar definition why did i say this symbolizes fire if you can see there's a man there that's a person that through fire through the obstacles through the struggles i thought that was the end of me i thought the struggle would win the obstacle would win and i'm the loser but actually through the fire came a rebirth a new version of me not the same me before there were strengths before that are weaknesses of me now but there are weaknesses before that as that are of strengths of me now that's why there's a phoenix that's why there's lotus and there's rebirth not all rebirths are of positive connotation there's also negative connotation maybe i'm not like physically equipped so much as i used to be but i can say emotionally mentally i am a lot better than how i was once so this one this is recent one i'm not going to put it that way because it's still wet this is with a hand and if you can see closer this hand has a face which has smile at the other on the other side and has sadness on the other side one and side has sadness one side has a smile yes and that continued even with the background the cloud that is bright and the cloud that is gloomy and even the background that has green background and the brown background now why did i make this because in totality we are dealt with different cards i have parkinson but it doesn't mean that my struggle is more painful than others struggle others may not have parkinson's but they have broken homes and it's painful and i'm not saying that my pain is a lot more painful than yours and the other people's pain is a lot painful than mine 
it's the same type of pain it's painful yeah but with that pain we can choose how we go through it and it's not that we have to go through it always in a positive way we have to feel sadness like the gloomy side of it the gloomy face also we can deal with it in a positive note but there's no measured standard on how we go through life this is called ticking time and this is called rebirth and this is called cards there are no cards there, there but i call this cards thank you so much everyone